tactics. Yeah, because you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not used to it, you definitely will make a lot of mistakes that you wouldn't have made. So it's just. Ah, oh, we got a switch. We got a switch. Heisenberg FM, toning it down, but 3,000 rated. Here's his name. Dingser something. So interesting. I didn't. I didn't pick up the flag. Where's this guy from? Maybe I'll go back and check. Julian Proleco. It's about time you followed me. Thanks. <laughs> kind of worried that guy's gonna start following me a lot. New opponent. New adoption. New opponent, Thanks, you, Stephen, for the hundred bits. Child. He's from Turkey. All right. So we got a Turkish FM three thousand rated. Holy cow. And he probably just got it. I assume he was, maybe he's been sitting on this for a while. Maybe, uh... Maybe Magnus went after him. Who knows? Maybe he just challenged and Magnus saw 3,000 and said, Yeah, I'll play that guy. Is Magnus just trying to get some rating points today? He's got to get back. See, Wizzo. Thank you for the follow. He's got to get back to 3,200. <laughs> Little schnitzel. Thank you for the follow. 3,300, do you think that's the goal? I think if he gets to 3,300, he'll probably stop for the day. I also wonder how much... For Magnus, what do you think really matters? Does he care more about getting the Blitz rating really high? Or does he care about just crushing people in all the matches that he plays? Kraz, good to have you. Today, it's been, like, random people. It's not Ali Reza. It's not Naroditsky. It's not, like, the usual suspects. So, which I actually love. I like seeing him play these other people that, like, you're, you don't see Magnus play these people. So, that's one today. He's now 3-0 lifetime against Heisenberg. Big fan of that guy's uncertainty principle. Oh, you watch some of my videos on YouTube. Never realized I'm vampire chicken. Yep. Yeah, 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 that's me. So I'm in, I'm in other chat rooms all the time. I also need to be on Twitch for work, so I end up spending quite a lot of my day on Twitch. So I have it, I have it pretty good. <laughs> Baron is my hero. Good to have you. You think he's, think Magnus is testing out some ideas? Yeah, and I wonder too. Does Magnus? Like I just test out stuff that I'm gonna play later. Like I just play my openings because. You know, nobody's prepping for me. It's whatever. People are prepping for Magnus for very, very, very serious tournaments. The most serious tournaments possible. Is he busting out his real stuff? I feel like he must, at least a little bit. Are people watching and taking notes? You think Fabi's watching this? You think he's he's got a notepad out? He's scribbling down some notes? Maybe, you know, look up that line later. Bookmark that game. I'll take a look at that that theory. Little Schnitzel says, he'd say Magnus mostly cares about conquering the field of internet chess, which has established many other dominant players besides him. And he obviously wants to change that. Yeah, Heisenberg, some FM, 3,000 rated. Now we got the old Tetris. We got the Tetris pawn structure going on. And we got these runners over here. So Magnus wants the queens on the board. He had the option to trade there. He's been playing the Evans Gambit a lot. All of these matches over the last several days. And I think he even... He played it in one of the Banter Blitzes too. He said that it was... Uh, he was watching a lot of Chigorin games. And that inspired him to play the Evans Gambit. Van Deco. Van Deco? Van Decor? Thank you for hanging out with us. Red Base, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. But, uh, and that I do actually admire. He also had, he has this move. He hasn't spotted that genius tactic. Maybe he had, but he did it better. Who knows? Be sure he's testing novel ideas against the Budapest, against Rosen. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely true for a lot of people. I think there's just, it's really good in a way for chess, at least online chess like this. Um, that there's just a bunch of people that have a bunch of time here. So let me get that arrow off the board. Um, it's been good, like just 
Twitch in general. Make a night. Gotta make a night. It's your only chance. Because <laughs> um, way more people on Twitch. Way more people on Leech S. Let me pop out. There's 1,200 people here watching this Magnus game. Let me go check just how many people are on Leech S right now, for example. Uh, let me go to another window. Right now on Leech S, there's 50,000 people. I've That was like a major accomplishment, and then all this uh, the stuff started happening out there in the world. And then there are 50,000 like all the time. This is not a busy time for them right now. This is about three or four hours past peak Lee Chess hours. So it's still 50k people. I've seen that up in the 70k area. So you've seen 85, 85,000 people on Lee Chess. It's crazy. So a lot of people have a lot of extra time, and, and that's good in a way because people are spending a lot more time playing chess, watching chess on the internet. And there's more people playing chess. There's more people streaming chess. It's, there is a, there's a positive to all this. So hopefully you guys aren't out there struggling with anything uh, really, really hard. Because uh, there is some good stuff happening. Yeah, cool. I'm glad you guys enjoy the vibe. What's that sound? It's not a fridge. There's a lot of weird sounds in my house. <laughs> Bristol Pete saying is, it is an incredible opportunity to chess. Are Fide doing anything? I don't think Fide is, I haven't seen Fide do anything specifically. Hmm. Looks like Magnus was gonna flag there. So yeah, we see Heisenberg get on the board. Um, we know Chess24 is doing stuff. We know is Chess.com doing stuff. A lot of places doing a lot of cool stuff right now. I haven't heard of FIDE doing anything particularly cool. Maybe they're not doing any online tournaments or anything, are they? It seems like the kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the follow. Um, they have an online portal for Arena Master. We have a... If Chessworm is here, he can tell us all about it. Chessworm is a titled FIDE Arena something. Candidate Master. Arena Candidate Master. <laughs> <laughs> Which I suspect I know what Julian's feelings are on Arena titles. <laughs> but uh, AIM. Chessworm. He's an AIM. An Arena International Master. Dang. Which I think is what, like 1900 or something? <laughs> it's not It's not the same standard. Like I've looked at it, like I, I think I, I could just be like an arena GM, right? It's like not even hard. <laughs> AGM is, is hard. SEP 1291. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I don't think they can fully prevent cheaters, which is why they give, like, a separate title. I mean, I, they must look at the games and try to, you know, detect them as much as you can on any other site. But, but yeah, I mean, it's obviously... You're never going to be able to fully prevent everything if it's online. But you can make up different titles for it. Problem with ice is sometimes you accidentally drink it. <laughs> I'm not used to having ice in my cup. Now I don't know. I don't want to chew it, but I want it to disappear. So that's this weird interpass. <laughs> Yeah, especially if Magnus doesn't play the, the top, top, top guys, he's going to be adopting a few people today. If he keeps every 10 to 20 games switching it up, playing different people. 
definitely definitely going to see a lot of a lot of adoptions. Um, I always liked ice water until I went to Spain, and then it just wasn't available. And I guess it was in my my formidable water drinking years. And yeah, since I came back to the states, which has been ten years now, I just still haven't adjusted back to doing water. I guess I just like it. I don't like it cold. And I also the thing I don't like about ice too is that it. I did used to drink or like bite on ice quite a bit when I was a kid, so my teeth are like a little chipped, and I don't want to make that any worse. So what just happened kind of annoys me that I accidentally got ice in my mouth. Seven Decker in the house, drinking snack. <laughs> ice is a scam. It probably is, right? Like, is it just so that they can sell me a freezer? <laughs> they can upcharge me on a freezer? Formidable water drinking years. You heard me right. Those years being like my early twenties. That's that's when it really. That's when you gotta pay attention to what you're drinking, guys. It'll it'll change the way you drink for the rest of your life. I need more iron, possibly. I probably have to do blood tests if I wanted to know. Magnus going for the win. Uh oh. Oh. Huh. I didn't see that. And I don't think Heisenberg did either. So, <laughs> that ended. That ends that one. Alright. That's a pawn? You're not supposed to take that pawn, right? But he did. Or here you can. What happened? Somehow he took that pawn. And then everybody got confused for a second. And then everything settled down. And Magnus is up a pawn. Uh-oh. What's happening here? He's probably going to get... This pawn structure shattered. But. Alright. Up a pawn, though. Can't complain here too much with white. <laughs> yeah. This guy. This Magnus guy. He's got some potential. He's, uh. Uh oh. Uh oh, just as you say it though. This is a blunder? I think it was. I think he blundered. Uh oh, where's that king going? King's not supposed to be there. Yikers. I don't know, maybe he'll be able to save this one though. <laughs> when did you guys learn to drink water? Wow. Heisenberg. <laughs> yeah, Rook F4. <laughs> In the womb you learned. Whoa! What happened there? I guess a knight must have gone to A3. I think I freaked out. I didn't see that there was a knight on A3. I just saw the bishop go there. So, small amount of panic. You should try it. Water is really good. If you haven't tried water, I highly endorse it. And I am not getting paid to say that. So, if you've not tried water, I recommend it. <laughs> In your culture, there's a water drinking ceremony when you turn seven. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes you go to restaurants, everyone's ordering a Coke, and some weirdo orders a water. That's me. I'm that weirdo. <laughs> yeah, Julian, from a different culture. Eisenberg, tough opponent. Hmm. He kind of, kind of got tricked there a little bit. All right, let's see. Let's see. Is this a draw? Will someone flag? Will somebody outplay the other? Will there be a swindle? Look at these pre-move skills. Oh, took his pre-moving skills one level too far. Uh oh. 
just resigns. Just resigns. <laughs> Here we go. Back at it. We've seen this one before. It's very fascinating. So, White has this E pawn. This bishop. How's he gonna get out? Whoa! A little queen sack? What was that? This wasn't on purpose because he's expecting to get at least a knight back. What in the world? This was just, this guy's gone too far. No way, Magnus. I don't believe this one. You've gone too far. Is he tilted? What's going on? Oh, is it mate? Mate threatened. Are you going to stop the mate? Are you going to take the knight? Oh, I'm still not mate. Can he find a mate? He did! Holy cow! <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, wow. What is this? Come on can't just push your h-pawn. This isn't how you play chess. What's happening here? This guy's insane. Is he tilted right now? Or is he having fun? Is it too easy? And he's just goofing right now? That being said, what a great position. I've been saying it the whole time. Genius play by Magnus. Truly fantastic. Hope you guys saw that checkmate in the last game. That was incredible. Hmm. This is working out though. This is working out for Magnus. Threat is mate. Okay, so the king's gonna have to move around a little bit. Who's getting who? Someone's getting someone. Black king coming in to join the attack. Yeah, up you go. You going up? Up, up, up. Is there a perpetual? Can Black get out of here? I don't think there's a perpetual. Quickly deciding not to take that pawn. Dang. Looks like Magnus was probably threatening mate there, so we had a resigns. <laughs> is that what you think it is? Like, FMs can't beat me. I can just play H5, H4, H3. Like, it's no big deal. Oh, weird. So he's giving up an exchange. He's got the dark squares. Here's a very interesting play by Magnus. Where, and I honestly like to, as the matches go on and on, it gets more and more interesting. He starts bringing out the real the wacky stuff, the fascinating stuff. But uh oh, he missed that one. Queen e4! Queen e4, double attack. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? So, yeah. Big blunder. Could see Heisenberg win this one. Heisenberg doing okay. 3 out of 11 against Magnus today. Not too bad. This guy is very strong. Like, for a, for a Fide Master, this guy is crazy. But, you know, even the IMs we've seen today, they haven't. This is like the same score as, as some of these other players. So, yeah, just some endgame. White has not good, but serious chances of holding on to this one. There come a lot of pawns. They're just, you just storm them. Raging pawns. Will it be enough? Threatens, threatens mate, right? The threat is mate. So Black's going crazy with the rook. Wow, what a pre-move. <laughs> Oh, can you go there? You can, I guess. I guess you can go there. I guess. You're not mated. Oh, oh, boop. Oh. Dang. Oof. That was close, but yeah. Good job, Heisenberg. Alright, now you get this very respectful opening. Uh-oh. Black's down upon. It's hard to know when it's on purpose and when it's not. Z Nation! Oh, see, I'm paying too much attention to the games. I miss when Z Nation comes in the house. 
You're learning Latin during your time at home. Next time you beat me, you're going to swear at me in Latin. I will not see it coming. Unless you say something similar to Spanish, then I have a chance of knowing what horrible things you've said about me. But I look forward to it. I hope it goes well. I hope you... Latin's a very useful language, so... Hope it goes well. Sonia took a year of Latin. Steven's learning Latin. What's ever, is that what's cool right now? I gotta get on the Latin train. All I know is everybody complains about like conjugating words. If you take Latin, everybody complains about conjugation. Wish you stuck with another language in high school. Yeah. Do you really speak Esperanto? I don't know what Tokipona is, but... Like, do you really speak Esperanto? Like, how well? There was... a group of people that I was... close enough to... in college that actually were serious about Esperanto. I was around them, so I just picked up on a few things about it. But I never... Never learned it, but I think some people, they were very serious about learning it. They were committed to uh, to making it sort of their main language. They would talk to each other in Esperanto all the time. So. That being said, I learned like 10 words or something. And I said, all right, yeah, and now I know Esperanto. But. <laughs> Yeah, if you don't know what Esperanto is, check it out. The idea is to have this universal language. It's kind of based on every language and coming up with sounds that would be easy enough for anyone in any language to understand. Because not everybody speaks English. Not everybody speaks any other language. If we're all going to get unified here, if we're all going to get on the same page, learn one language, it's going to have to be Esperanto. That's the idea. <laughs> get some Latin pen pals in the, in the chat. So Heisenberg started at exactly 3,000, right? So he's outperformed. The K factor is really beyond me at this level. But I guess if you go 4 out of 14 games, you actually gain rating points if you play a 3186 rated player. So, yeah, it's tough at the top. <laughs> Is Magnus losing points here? That's rough. Tokipona, I don't know what that is. So I'm going to have to Google it. Tokipona. is a philosophical, artistic, constructed language known for its small vocabulary, created by Canadian linguist Sonia Lang. Oh, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. We're learning a lot here about the people that watch this stream. It's hard to use universal language, but it's hard to say, like, Magnus is crushing this guy in math. <laughs> There's so much I don't know about my viewers. Uh oh, that was a mouse slip. Oh, it's rough. There we go, eight freebies. He might move out now. That might be the end. Nope, he's still playing. He is. What, when we see someone wacky now, sometimes you get tilted. You mouse slip, you get tilted. Are we going to see it? Looks like he's just bringing out some normal stuff. Eight points down the tube. That's true. We could all learn some sort of sign language. Music. The language of respect. Yeah. Points are going up. 
Math and music aren't universal. One second. I should think. Math and music aren't universal. Aren't they? Aren't they universal things that bring people together? Math and music, both of them? I would have thought they are. Troubadour contesting it. They absolutely are universal. They are, right? Math? It's universal. Numbers are like the same everywhere. But, like, I can listen to music that isn't in English and still, like, appreciate it and feel, like, a connection to it. Like, if it's a sad song, I, like, I can know it's sad and not understand the lyrics. Numbers aren't the same everywhere? What? Like, somewhere, 1 plus 1 does not equal 2? What do you mean they're not the same everywhere? Numbers are not the same everywhere. This is getting too philosophical for me. I feel totally lost. Aren't numbers the same everywhere? K the Joker. Good to have you. Zero didn't exist until the year 628. Actually, pretty common that 9 plus 1 does not equal 10. That's the highest rated guy in the chat right now. So, I trust it. 2 plus 2 equals 5 in different universe. Let's escalate it quickly. <laughs> 9 plus 1 equals A. Like, a real A or imaginary A? That's the question. An imaginary A is AI. Yeah, he's the best FM in the universe, I think. He might be. This actually might be the best FM in the universe. Are there many FMs that can get to 3,027 on Leech Us? And I have a lifetime record against Magnus. 7 out of 20. Pretty impressive. It's hard to imagine an FM doing much better than this. Looks like Carlson will play absolutely anything. <laughs> Please turn off the chess so I can concentrate on the maths and the music. Perrin is my hero. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> I've been having a fun time today. Hanging out. <laughs> Maybe there's some universe where... The way people added up Heisenberg has a winning score against Magnus. <laughs> if Pushy only played me, he'd reach 3,000. Probably. Probably. <laughs> I'm just thinking in base 10. Alright, Magnus with a couple quick wins in a row. Looking good. So time for a Scandi. Ooh, a little Portuguese. Wow, whoa, fancy stuff. It's probably theory. Um, this looks like it's probably theory. This is crazy, though. Looks like both these players actually know what they're doing in this insane opening. Now, if you take the knight, at some point there's going to be this knight check. Either takes or just toss the knight in first, either one. So, Magnus now up material, but the knight is kind of trapped. The king is kind of in the center. And I don't know. So White got some stuff back. And things are calming down, but not it's not over. Still a lot of drama on the board. But yeah. No, this is what happens though. He plays the Scandi. 
And then he just has a bad position, and then he wins because he's Carlson. That's what seems to happen. He keeps doing the Scandi. But I don't know about it. I get the opinion. From watching all these games, even though he wins them all, I still kind of get the feeling the Scandinavian might not be the absolute best opening available to black. <laughs> Good to have you, G-Suits. Welcome back. If you are challenging me to a casual three-minute three-check game, that won't be accepted, but i consider playing if Magnus wraps it up. But it seems like he's in it. He's in it for the long haul. Magnus is going to be here for a while. Hopefully I'm not jinxing anything. But yeah, this looks like a nice little kingside attack for white. Surprised white went on the kingside. Would have expected him to castle queenside. But uh, we'll see how this works out. I think going kingside is probably like you're just a little bit better. And you're not like trying to checkmate the guy. You're just better. So I guess that's what he's going for. Always sticks around when there's a good game to be had. And I wonder if in his mind, like, what happened? <laughs> Anybody get it? That rook's defended enough. Did he not know the rook was defended by the queen as well? What happened? That was, oh, it was mate? Relook. Sorry. I need I need fresh eyes on this one. Checkmate, you say. Okay. Trust it. <laughs> Fisem, what'd you do? You know Nightbot is always out to get you. Gotta be careful out there. Yeah, I didn't see it. I honestly don't see it. Like, Julian, where's the mate? We'll ignore this one game that's happening. Sorry, guys. We're skipping one game here to try to find the mate. I think the rook on d8, he must have thought it was unprotected, right? Isn't that what happened? Oh, another doctor. Dr. XK in the chat. Rook d8, bishop g5, f6. Says mate in 10. 1 0. Alright. That's what I need. I just. For some odd reason, you thought Julian Proleco was Julian Polario. Obvious mate in 10. Sorry, guys. I'm also I'm talking to the chat. Otherwise, normally that a mate in 10 is just on my radar. Not. It's kind of embarrassing that I would miss a mate in 10. But, uh. just must be, you know, just all the chatting. It's just, it's hard to, I can't catch every single mate in 10. <laughs> Someone thought your name was Justin Polcat. Interesting. Magnus has put a nice string of wins together here. So five in a row against Heisenberg. <laughs> ah, I haven't had Vietnamese food in a long time. That sounds good. Although I'm a bit scared to eat out right now. I think maybe it's just me. It's probably just me. Like, if I'm scared to eat now, I should probably be scared all the time. But I just don't know, like, if the cook is sick. I guess you never do. Like, I realize it's kind of silly because like the cook could always be sick every time you ever eat out. But I don't know. I'm just so scared right now. <laughs> but yeah, pho does sound really good. Now I'm hungry. It's Sonia's fault. <laughs> Let me see here. Let's see if I can do something. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. 
do do. Hmm. Yeah, didn't didn't work. All right. Had a little funny joke. It's not gonna work though. I know. Everyone's gonna leave and go get food. Also, we haven't had food in our house for a long time, so I've been eating like just pizza. It's like just cereal and pizza and then soup. Those are my three meals. But thankfully, there was a lot of food at the store today, so I think I'll be eating handsomely for the next seven days. What is happening here? This can't be good for white, can it? This looks dangerous. Looking dangerous. Time also not on Magnus' side. So very, very dangerous. He decides he needs to trade. And yeah. So he's just barely holding on to this one. The knight's got to go back and forth, but all the pawns are going to drop. King's going to run in the other way, or he's going to blast through with the H pawn. Very, very close to resignation here. One queen. Yeah, that was a nice move. Queening first on, on b8. On b1 was also was a very nice little touch. All right. Pawn structure started a little wacky and now feels a little bit normal. Yeah, it's tough. There's a lot of places where it's just not easy to get food. So I do I do hope you guys are are not without food. Alright, so what's happening here? This also looks bad for Magnus. I mean, it's not so bad anymore, though. Okay, so we picked up a bunch of stuff. And white has more bishops. And he trades. He keeps trading when he's down, like, so much material. It's very surprising. I don't know if he could have done anything about it. But, yeah, another nice move. Heisenberg. Heisenberg, two in a row. Lots of time. So, two in a row. Two in a row, Heisenberg. Very nice. So we're gonna see this kind of end game again. He doesn't care if he wins or loses. I think he cares a lot. I think he cares a lot. He <laughs> was. I don't know, I wonder what Heisenberg's uh, his other ratings are we can take a peek real quick let's see, so his oh, he had his 2766 blitz only 2245 ultra bullet, but he hasn't played that many games he has played an insane amount of bullet games I guess maybe that's a normal amount 13,000 I guess maybe that's a normal amount. It just compared to all the other stuff he's done. He's only played 500 Blitz games, 100 Ultra Bullet games, two classical games. Apparently he's it's not done well there. Two draws, very, very respectable. But back to this one, two in a row for Heisenberg. Is he going to be able to pull off a third? Leonardo, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. 
<laughs> Why is he playing only an FM? This guy's good. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We say just an FM when almost nobody can reach the FM level. That's a fork. <laughs> I was wondering if he had to take back right away, if he could have brought the queen back. But if there's one thing I know, it's that I shouldn't voice any actual opinions on the game. I'm usually wrong, and usually Magnus is right. E4 looks good, so I think we're gonna see Queen come into the H file. And let's see how White has been prepared to deal with this. Doesn't look easy. Doesn't look easy at all. So Magnus, two in a row, seeing a slightly different opening now. So it's kind of becoming the same structure. <laughs> being an FM is like being a mayor of a small city. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good accomplishment. Oh, he was born in 2001, so he's like 19 years old. His FIDE rating is 2301. His blitz rating is only 1895. Wow. Good to have you, Expert Lance. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, it's not so easy to get a FIDE Blitz tournament, is it? That being said, I bet Julian has a FIDE Blitz rating. I'm hearing a weird noise. I feel like something is running down there. Don't know what. Alright, so Magnus, just going for these pawns here. So, alright, looks like he figured it out. Well done, nice technique at the end. Now, maybe it's a lawnmower. I hope it's a lawnmower. I hope it's coming from outside. <laughs> Ah, oh, no, you guys can't see my biggest fan. Ah, oh, and I can't. I can't even... It would take a lot of work to show you guys my biggest fan. But my biggest fan is behind me. No, I don't think Magnus was the youngest GM. Was he the youngest GM at one point? Before Karyakin? Someone say <laughs> biggest fan. All right, Steven. Thank you very much. 185. Someone say biggest fan. You guys really want to see my biggest fan? Unbeaten. Welcome, welcome. I could show you. I could show you my biggest fan. I appreciate it, Stephen. Thank you very much. So, a pawn structure that's probably a little bit better for white here. <laughs> Agnia's in the chat. Good to have you. Karyakin was definitely the youngest. But I guess the question is, was Magnus at some point before then? Can't imagine. 
Unique. Looks like that, uh, that was miscalculated. So Magnus should be able to win now. Yeah, it is always fascinating. I hope you're, if you're just joining us. He's been playing a lot of random, is that fair? Random people, people you don't actually expect him to play. He's not playing Penguin. He's not playing Ferruja. He's playing Heisenberg. Heisenberg has been doing very well. Heisenberg started at 3,000 rated. So he has moved up in the world. And yeah, today alone, he has 10 wins against Magnus. Magnus with 22 wins today. And we're sticking with it. Heisenberg up a few pawns here. It's been back and forth. It hasn't been... Hasn't been easy. It's never easy. So. Might just be quiet for a little bit and just enjoy some of this. We got a nice little race. Yeah, black has time to grab the H pawn and get back in time. And black queens, he's going to be able to win the knight. But he's just going to push the B pawn. Very nice. Very nice technique. <laughs> Seeing the H pawn attack again. Here it goes. Chucking that H pawn. He's got the alpha zero pawn. <laughs> yeah, could be good attacking chances for Magnus. Magnus now switching around on the queen side. Is the rook coming in? Pawn structure will change as soon as that bishop gets taken. Rook's coming in. There's still a pawn on h6, just chilling. Always black needs to watch that back rank carefully. Rooks are traded. Queen's coming in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay, but now... <laughs> it's funny. So what's going on in this endgame? As so two pawns how many of them are going to fall though how many are going to fall there's a guy in his 80s that got GM nice yeah the technique got a little, little sloppy there for Heisenberg at the very end but not easy not easy Another Scandinavian with F5. Huh. <laughs> it's crazy. Rook takes. Rook takes surprised me. But uh, yeah, get that rook over there. Gotta get that rook over there. And yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. Oh, queens are coming off though. So that probably helps white, but it's still dangerous. Also dangerous for black. What? Oh, wow, if you take it. Oh my gosh, if you take it. It was a mate. Holy cow. That was nice. I didn't see that one coming. I don't know that pattern. I just learned a new checkmating pattern. Holy cow, guys. That was sweet. That was really nice. Hey, Dordum. Glad you're with us today. Dang. Alright. Probably no 
Uh, oh, I'm going to say no good night discoveries, but maybe he found one, maybe not. Two pieces hanging. So he sacks. Flipper Squad, thank you for the follow. You're new here. Well, welcome. Well, welcome. We're having fun. We're watching, uh, watching some Magnus. And looks like he's going to win that Rook. A couple quick ones here. Could he get a couple quick wins? Thanks for the follow, Dordum. I appreciate it. Can I... Oh. Yeah. Does the leech sound a little... Also, does this make it go lower? I've just lowered it. I think. But I'm not sure. I'm actually... There's one thing I need to do, and the problem is my mic... It, my computer thinks it's a speaker. So I need to change it, which I can probably do. And... Let me see. Let me mess with my settings a little bit. Did I lower the volume, though? Do what I do work? Otherwise, i got to try another another thing here. I can do it from Lee Chess. Okay, that'll make it easy. Um, sound. All right, how's that sound? Is that the appropriate level? Sorry about that if that was a little bit too loud. Great, okay. And I also want to get the... I want to do one thing. I'm going to mess with my settings here for a second, but I'm still going to be in the chat. I'm still going to be watching the games. So. Just try to do one thing here. Because I think there's a way. I think my... <laughs> I think my... Microphone. So it thinks this is the... Speaker. So I can't hear any of the desktop audio myself. So yeah, it says speakers, Yeti mic. So I'm gonna do one thing, hopefully. Let me know if you guys can hear me. So did this update, can you guys still hear me? I don't hear the desktop now though. Let me see if it's working. Yeah, we still, you still hear me. Now I don't hear, well, I don't hear any desktop sounds. All right, so maybe I didn't do anything. <laughs> Certain apps may be set up to use different sound devices. Oh, so I have to change it within the, the app itself somehow. Input. Yeah, I want that to be the input. But output, I want it to be this other one. What if I... Uh oh, now what have I done? Have I done something horrible? That shouldn't be right. That shouldn't be right. I'm messing everything up. I have no idea. Alright, no idea what I did. If I've messed up the sound in a horrible way, let me know. Oh, we hear screaming and laughter. Uh oh. You weren't supposed to hear that. Might be better days though to test out sound and stuff. So Magnus getting close to winning another one here. Alright. So he's gotta trade a couple of these pieces off. And then he's just gotta worry about just one G pawn. It's just there's just one G pawn to worry about, and he's got quite a lot of puns that he can push. So it's looking good. <laughs> it's tough. You play Magnus, you're gonna lose a pawn or two every now and then. It gets tough. So yeah, here's this is the uh, the Scandinavian that he's going with these days. It's very interesting. Look at this easy plan. That's the plan. <laughs> yeah, just picks up a pawn like that. Nice little trappy opening. It's not... I don't think many people are well booked up on all these random Scandi lines. Oh, he's gone down. Yeah, Magnus is picking up the pace here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row. He wants that adoption. He wants three more games. We'll see if he can pull it off. This one is looking good for Magnus.
Yeah. <laughs> if he plays it patriotically. I think it's very low that he would actually play it in a, in a world championship. He has played it in serious games, like long time controls. He's played it against Fabi too, so... I would just suspect that... I would doubt it. I think it's very low. Possible? Obviously. Obviously possible. <laughs> nice. Alright, nice win. People are saying one more. Is it one more? One, two, three. I'm not very good at counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's only eight. There's somebody in the other chat that was saying one more to go. There's two more. Two more to go. MD Meat. Good to have you. Welcome, welcome. Ordinary Twitch name. Good to have you. A couple new people coming in. I love it. Uh, who is this Magnuside Carlson? Anyway, he's a pretty good player. Um, you haven't heard of him. Turns out he's pretty decent. And he's on the verge of getting to 3,200 here. Was having some early struggles, which is a bit unfair, because it just means he's not winning like every single game against Heisenberg. But now he's picking up the pace. His foot is on the gas. Trying to get two more wins here. Trying to get 3,200. Maybe I hope that's not his goal. I hope his daily goal wasn't, let me go on until I get to 3,200, because this could be the last game. So, I am worried. No, no, he's still going. I think. Does he have one more on his mind? So his goal wasn't just get to 3,200 and quit. His goal is to adopt this guy. <laughs> yeah, if you, can, if you can pull that off, Luigi. And you have a rating from when you were a kid. What you need to do is actually use it to win a lot of money. If you are like a 1,700 player, but you're rated 900 because when you were a kid you played, you gotta play in one of the big tournaments and win a lot of money. <laughs> Third adoption today. You know it, Leonardo. Luigi won 400 bucks. There you go. Not too bad, not too bad. 400 bucks. It's very good. It's a good win. It tends to be 100 wins. Is he going to play Heisenberg to 100 wins? It'd be strange, wouldn't it? How's it going? My wife's coming in, but she might not be coming in to say hi. We'll see if she says hi. What's up? Good. Come over here and look how many people are watching. It's going well. Do you want to? Say, yeah. Yeah. You want to say hi to people? No. <laughs> All right. The wife's not saying hi. Yeah. If you peek around the other side, you'll be able to see the number. It's a good number. So. That many. Yeah. So. So we're never stopping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all we need to know. Um, so the queen is coming in here. Did I miss the adoption? Is that 10? Who knows how to count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I missed it. Sorry. Got distracted. Say hi, wife, lol. 10's not enough these days. <laughs> Joking. 100 bits. Say hi, wife. Let me text her. Joe King says hi. Joe King says hi and gave 100 bits. Boom. She'll be weirded out and then it'll say 100 bits and she'll buy it. That's fine. Queen's greeting declined. And thank you, Joe. I do appreciate it. So. We'll see what she says. 
<laughs> she will reply. She always replies. I don't reply to everything. Everybody texts me. My wife always replies. Okay, also looking good for Magnus. That's a pretty good move too, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. Mate was incoming. That's 12. Every time I see E4, I get hopeful that we'll see a French defense. Haven't seen any yet. He did play one or two the other day. He played it in a strange style, because that's that's his style. <laughs> Does he suffer from insomnia? It makes me wonder, because, like, maybe he is now because, like, you can't go out, you can't do anything. Like, maybe this is just... Does he always stay up this late? The French is a good opening. That's a Julian Prolego quote. That's Julian Prolego quoted. Let's get him in here. Save that quote. Add that to the pile. Okay. Julian Prolego. French is a good opening. You heard it here? You heard it here. Growing list of quotes. Killer stapler in the house. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Do I want a killer stapler following me? That's kind of dangerous. But I do appreciate it. Ah, they played the wing gambit. Oh, you play the French. Luigi plays the French. Awesome. It's good to have some French players in here. And you managed to beat the wing gambit. It's dangerous. It can be tricky. Just assuming, based on the fact that you... You won a lot of money at the tournament. That you somehow took down the wing gambit. So yeah, at 5 o'clock, hopefully my video went out on YouTube. It was the top variations, 20 variations in the, the Sicilian defense. So hopefully you guys check that out at some point after, after all this Magnus stuff. But I'm thinking maybe I should do one on the French too. Like the top 10 variations in the French, something like that. You play the Fort Knox. It's very solid. It's kind of passive, though. It's kind of boring. But it's possible. Leela considers the French stronger than E5. Is that, like, currently? Like, all engines, they always like E6, like, at the beginning. And then it, like, thinks about it and it changes its mind. But Leela is a little bit different than your, your run-of-the-mill engine. Is that the current evaluation? Because she gets better. She can defend like a god, though. Defending is a good skill. In a way, playing the French, you will build up good defensive skills. Which is important in any opening that you play, so you'll get some practice defending. You'll lose a lot. You'll lose a lot in any opening you play. What was that strange style? He played like early B6s and... Yeah, he was playing like E6, D5, C5, and then like B6. But, I don't know. Somehow he just gets weird... Um, good one by Heisenberg there. He gets weird... Uh, he just gets weird spawn structures. Which I think is intentional. <laughs> that was a quick one. You still playing? Okay. Do you like the classical here. or win or against NC3? <laughs> Dang. How many moves was that? That was crazy. Ah, oh, Luigi! Luigi with the 50 bits. Do I like classical win or against knight to c3? Uh, I just put it out. I do definitely prefer playing knight f6 rather than bishop to b4. Um, and I don't play the classical. I play the, the Steinitz and I play the McCutcheon. Those are the, the lines that I do prefer. So I'm, I'm making, I should at some point tonight or tomorrow night record part two i have it all ready to go i just need to record it part two of my steinitz variation for my youtube channel and at some point i'll do a mccutcheon video as well to complement it because then that would kind of cover what to do if they play uh knight to c3 on move three the classical is fine i don't think there's anything wrong with it it does feel like the winnower is like, slightly dubious. Maybe Fisher's right. Maybe it's, like, fine. Like, you probably can play it, but it just doesn't feel right to me. So, it's just not what I do. 
And I think one of the arguments that people say, like, you should play the Winnower is because you're going to get sharp positions where you can win. But I think you can play Knight F6 on move 3. And you can also get sharp positions that you can win. Back to H5, H4, H3. Here we go. E4, E5, you lose, technically. <laughs> yeah, if you, yeah, if you do something wrong in e4 e5 it's still like a, a technical challenge it's king d8 it's king d8 on purpose but yeah you definitely can lose in the french you need to know what you're doing a little bit and i think a little bit of it is too you can pick lines that do reduce the chances of you getting checkmated <laughs> don't play any lines or you might get greek gifted just don't play the lines where you get checkmated there are ways i'll slowly reveal them on youtube <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Gimark. You do have to play it right or you lose. So. This is me. So. That's a fair, it's a fair argument. Uh, well, it's white determining the opening. So yeah, the Steinitz variation in the French is, is white's choice. So yeah. Yeah, it would be funnier if <laughs> if he said, yeah, I never played it. It's so boring. It's so dull. Just a couple hundred years ago, they thought it was really dull. It's not that dull. It can be sharp and lively. It's a feisty opening. Don't castle in the French is the first thing you learn. Yeah, you, you have to get Greek gifted. A couple times. Just a couple times, and you go, wait a minute. Maybe I shouldn't just be castling. So it's true. It's an opening where castling is not always the best move. Yeah, and after all, in the grab boy doesn't castle, so it's typical of certain openings. <laughs> Don't know if I want my beloved French to be in the same pool of openings as the grab. But <laughs> But yeah, it's true that there are just different openings where castling is not necessarily the best move. So Magnus, starting a new streak here. He's got three in a row. And he's really bringing the pace here. Speeding it up. Really, really going fast. I guess you can tell this is one of those end games where it's going to come down to the clock. He is really, really boosting here. Okay, so he's going to pick up that guy. He's probably going to sack. And it's only white can win. Doing a very good job shielding out that bishop. Is he going to, at some point, use... Oh, that's, that's easy. French reloaded. How come I don't know this one? Also, good to have you troll trooper. Troll trooper. Here to troll us all. Um, French Reloaded. How come I don't know this one? French Reloaded. Huh, I don't know this one. When did this come out? 2012? Let's see what, uh, what's recommended in this book. I'm on Amazon, but I can't click on it and see more. Okay, it's got good reviews on Amazon. I don't know. So what is uh what does Vitugov recommend? Probably Winnower. Seems like that's what people recommend, right? There's not all that many people that recommend playing like the classical. Also, I wonder too if it's just like the audience. People like sharp, crazy stuff, and maybe the classical isn't the sharpest, craziest. People like books on the dragon. People like books on. King's Gambit. People like sharp, crazy stuff. Doesn't Black technically decide the opening? So he does on, on like a on move one, the French is determined. But then there's variations within that, and some of them White has a hand in choosing on some opportunities. So I don't want to put it on the board, but if you can imagine E4, E6, D4, D5, 
After white plays knight to c3, if black plays knight f6, black uh, white gets to choose. He can play e5. He can play bishop to g5. So sometimes, even after the French is played, white gets to choose the exact variation at some points. <laughs> Fort Knox. Fort Knox is about as boring as it gets. So. It's got its admirers. But people just won't write books on it. If what you like is the Fort Knox, nobody's going to write you a book. Because it's not going to sell well. Which is kind of a shame. Like, not every opening has to be the sharpest, craziest dragon. Doesn't have to be sharp night or lines. But I assume those are the, the things that sell well. Alright, but I wasn't here. I thought here. Black would be doing very well. But probably missing something. Alright, so Magnus doing a good job not losing material. Don't know. <laughs> if I would do the same in that position. Doing a very good job of winning a lot of material. So should keep munching. 12 seconds is a lot of time here. Bishop's trapped. He's got to worry about a pawn or two. But yeah, it's a lot of queens, a lot of rooks. Should be able to mate here very soon. London, I guess, is an example. Has anyone wrote, written a book on the London? I imagine there's got to be some material out there on the London. Because that's one that's boring, but at least it has... It has the potential. There are sharp lines if, if you actually play it to play a bunch of theory. You've been seeing the Schlechter variation online a lot. It's not that popular, but I guess it can be played from time to time. It's probably not the best, but you can play it. <laughs> no one wins with the London. Ooh, Carlson wins with the London. You can play the London and win. <laughs> Anish has a lot of love for London. Carlson again, just he's playing really well right now, and now he is starting to slide a little bit. What is happening here? Is Carlson? How much danger is he in? Heisenberg taking his time trying to find it. Carlson with six in a row. I don't know how to count, but I think it feels like six in a row. Thank you, Cryo, for the follow. So. He's in a little bit of danger here. <laughs> Brownie with ice cream. <laughs> Gotta always have a brownie with your ice cream. I don't like sweets. I try to avoid them. I have to admit, I have a weakness for brownies. I hate to admit it. If there's anything that could trick me, oh, that's a free piece. Be a brownie. Brownies get me. Just so good. When I was a kid, we used to get these brownies from Costco. I assume they still make them, but out of time for Magnus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gosh, they were so good. That's all I remember from my childhood. I had these brownies from Costco. I think my parents hated making them. They didn't mind feeding them to me. But I think they hated making them. It must have been a hard recipe. And I didn't really appreciate it because I was a kid. Wow! Ben Feingold coming in. I can't scroll down. I can't see how big of the party is. Holy cow, Ben! Holy cow, 298! Thank you so much, Ben. Ben was by here earlier today, and then I guess he went off and streamed. We're still here watching Magnus. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for the raid, Ben. I appreciate it. So welcome, welcome, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm Jonathan Trance, for those of you that don't know. And I've been here. We've been watching Magnus. Magnus has been playing a whole bunch of random people today. And by random, I just mean not the usual suspects. He's not playing Ali Reza today. He's not playing Penguin. He's not playing Naroditsky. <laughs> He's uh, 
He's playing this Heisenberg, who started at 3,000 rated. Some FM, 3,000 rated. He's from uh, from Turkey, so thanks, debugger. Thanks for the follow. And yeah, thanks to Ben. Anybody that hasn't watched Ben really needs to watch him. He is the funniest guy. You can learn a whole ton from him. So shout out, GM, Ben. Let's see if I can spell Ben right. Feingold, I got that. But Ben, that's hard. Shout out to Ben Feingold. Go follow him. He's, he's awesome. So... Thank you, Paul, for the follow. Ah, Mr. Popezilla, recognizing me from YouTube. That's good to hear. Hey, Karen, how's it going? Can Can, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Mr. Popezilla. Lots of chickens. We're getting a lot of chickens in here today. So, yeah, it's been good. He's been playing Heisenberg. He, I believe, has already adopted Heisenberg once. Caped Baldy, thanks for the follow. Um, he got, Magnus got to 3,200. I was worried that he would stop. Jay McGrath, thank you for the follow. But he just kept going, and he just keeps winning. I think he likes this guy. He's been picking up rating points left and right. Karen's following me. It was great that Ben followed. But now I have Karen, so thank you very much. Um, Karen and Ben have been here in St. Louis many, many times. Ben was here forever. Karen's been around. Ha ha, thank you for the follow. So, I appreciate it, guys. That's really cool. <laughs> K2 Hegemon. Thank you for the follow. I suspect we're going to see a lot of follows. Mate is threatened. Got to stop the mate. Can't do it. Magnus wins another. So, that's two in a row now for Magnus. Experience. Thank you for the follow. All right. We're getting a slightly different opening now. So, this is nice to see. Freddy Patzer. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, Magnus is... He's really bringing it today. He has been playing very well today. CM Ralphie. He's been playing. Playing really well. So. I'm saying that for Magnus' own standards. He's been playing well today. Another doctor. Doctor 5W. We're watching Dr. Nykerstein. We got another doctor in the house. Ah, K the Joker. Thank you for the subscription with Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Rufus and Doofus in the house. <laughs> I am the Ursov guy. That's me. That's me. And I have my own YouTube channel now, too. So if anybody is interested, you can uh, you can go check me out. I'm starting to put some more opening videos up on there and everything. Um, I don't know where I'm at now, but I was, I was close to having 100 subscribers over there. So if you want to get over there on YouTube and support me there as well, that'd be cool. Also known as the Halloween Gambit guy. I still have the costume. The hat for that costume is actually the what I'm using to hold up my my uh, camera here. Ace Deuce, thanks for the follow. So, it's a lot of people asking you to teach them chess. Mainly been showing them the Zucker Tart Collie. Yeah, it's a pretty good opening. I assume for absolute beginners, if you're going to teach them some easy system, the London is probably easier, because you at least get your bishop out. And that's... What matters is if you're a beginner, is that you just get all your pieces out. Uh-oh, this is looking bad, though, for Magnus. Looking very bad. Can he hang in there? He's been speeding up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Not a good move there. <laughs> Fantasized dreams. Good to have you. <laughs> yeah. Opening teacher. Good to have you. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the, the stuff. I'm trying to make some opening stuff on my, my own channel now, so... Hopefully there's a lot more of it to come. <laughs> he could have played the Halloween Gambit. He missed out. He missed out. I don't know what Magnus' feelings are. Uh, he's been playing a lot of, I guess, I mean, wacky stuff. But I don't think he goes that crazy. He doesn't usually give up a piece. There's been a lot of this, like, H4, H5, H6 stuff. So there's been a lot of that happening today. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't usually give up pieces. He just, uh, whoa. Wow. What? But why can save the queen? What's happening? What is happening? Equal material. Is white king in any danger? It's kind of a crazy one. 
Nick, thanks for the follow. And thanks for the nice words, Cryo. I'm glad you like the semi-slav. Do I still have that machine? There is secretly hiding somewhere in the, the chess club. Probably shouldn't say it, because somebody could go dig it up. There is one of the, the rogs, the silver rog, is hiding. All right. Chess god, all you need to do is you just, you gotta go to the bathroom, you just get up, you just go. You just go. You can even leave the stream on if you want. You don't even have to turn it off. You just go. You come right back. It's easy. Who's the FM? I will, let me, right when this game ends, let me try to pop open it so you guys can see. Um, it's this name from Turkey. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he started at 3,000. So when we started, he was at exactly 3,000. Rufus and Doofus. Thank you for the follow. So yeah, there's the name in chat, <laughs> of course. Um, I'm not gonna not gonna try to read that one, but yeah, not even gonna try. Bo ties live, <laughs> nice one. Thank you for the follow. So what's happening here? I think this is down a lot of material. The knight was not trapped. So what's happening? Wait, what? What happened there? Crazy stuff. Yamez, thank you. Troll Trooper, thanks for the follow. Just looking through here, making sure I didn't forget to thank any of you guys. Uh, what openings or positions give you the most trouble? That's an awesome question. Knight of Valor. What is currently giving me... What does currently give me the most trouble? Um, I don't know. Anything that gives me trouble, I'd look up right away. <laughs> so it's a bit difficult to answer. I'm sure there is something. If I sit here and think, it will come to me. But I have a lot of enemies out there booking up for me. So maybe I should say... Oh, that bank of gambit gets me every time. And then people will play it against me. The Banco Gambit I just came to mind, because that was one that was really giving me trouble, but... Then I studied a little bit more, and now it gives me less trouble. Uh, if you have that blue color, I'll never be able to read it. I think it says Can Can. Good to have you. So, Magnus, up a piece. Trading Queens is interesting, because there's still all these pawns to deal with over there. Got these A and B pawns. So, Bishop D6 makes a lot of sense. He's just going to get his king over, stop all these pawns. Eventually, black will make a queen. There goes one of the pawns. So that's game over. That's three in a row now for Magnus. So, all right. Wait, up a pawn. Will he be able to keep it? Seems like probably not. So what in the world is going on here, though? <laughs> He's playing fast. Playing very fast. Yeah, Benoni can be tricky, for sure. Benoni can be tricky. Oh, cool. We'll see you later, Troubadour. Thanks for coming by. I hope you stay safe as well. Hope everyone out there has been, been safe. Hopefully you guys have food. Hopefully. Hopefully nobody out there has been hit too, too hard. Um, yeah, there's just there's so many different levels. So what what kind of impresses me, Knight of Valor, about the way that uh, what Magnus does is he just simply so very quickly picks up on all the just plans and all these odd, weird, sort of unusual positions. And so just his his basic understanding of where all the pieces go in some random position. Thanks, John, for the follow. Is just so much higher than than a lot of his opponents. Gameplay, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the dragon. You gotta know what you're doing if you play the dragon. And um, that was a pretty nice one there. Picked up his fourth win in a row. And yeah, and a lot of it is just these patterns built up over so many years of playing such good people. Uh, 
Well, yeah. And we just get to sit back and enjoy it. This guy worked really, really hard to get really good at this game. And we can just sit here. Basically every night. Magnus has been playing so much chess on Lee Chess lately. That, yeah, basically every night we can just come on. We can watch this top guy play. Uh, I think, so Nykter, I think it means sober in Norwegian. Thanks, Patty, for the follow. He used to be Dr. Drunkenstein. <laughs> and he, even, he did a stream once where he was drinking on the stream. Um, so he has confirmed had alcohol in his life. And I guess he's sobered up and he's playing on his sober account. So he's, he's presumed to be sober today. Although some sources have apparently said, I guess he drinks a lot, plays chess. He's just a normal guy. He drinks, he plays chess. That's what he does for fun. Yeah, he's got this big tournament. Although it's weird, like he comes on, and there's the other day, also, what does that say, Boat Pizza? That's a pretty cool name. Um, I'll come back, I wanna talk about this tournament. Um, he he has like banter blitzes, he has like all this stuff, and he's gonna play in like tournaments, and then it's still day of the tournament, night of the tournament, he'll just be like playing until <laughs> several hours before the tournament starts. He's just playing blitz for hours and hours. Um, not even sure how long I've been up. I've been here a long time. Um, so it's over three hours and 18 minutes Magnus has been playing. He had played about 10 games or so right before I came on, so I've been here for most of it. And he plays these marathons. He just stays forever, ever playing chess. Is that Nycter means sober in English, too? That's good to know. I need to learn a little bit more, more English. <laughs> I've also learned one thing from watching all of this. If you're the guy that's not Magnus Carlsen, don't play endgames against this guy. This guy has the advantage in the endgame. It seems like when people beat him, there's some like tricky, complicated tactic in the middle game. And then Magnus like miscalculates something. That seems to be the only way this guy loses in these one minute games. So I don't know if you guys plan on playing Magnus soon, but that would be my advice. Get some tricky middle game. And then hope it gets really complicated. And one out of ten times, maybe you win. You feel like you left for a very long time and nothing changed. Yeah. Magnus is still going at it. <laughs> so, yeah. And look at this. I mean, if the rating just keeps going up, he's trying, he's trying to get to 3,300. <laughs> I have watched a lot, a lot, a lot of Magnus games lately. Like over a thousand games this week. I'm putting together the plan. Just easy. An easy one. That's seven in a row. Uh-oh. Somebody done? Don't be done. No. Keep going. Oh, he's gone. No. No. Tree hugger. Thanks for the follow. Uh-oh. No. I mean, yeah, we'll chill out. Maybe. I mean, sometimes he pops out and he comes back. But, uh... Yeah, hi, Eric. Blew it. So he might, he might, he might be done for the day. We'll chill out here for a few minutes. Sometimes he comes right back, but no. But yeah, he played a lot of games. So he played 89 today, and this actually was probably the start of it. Um, some of this, he played about 70 games or something, and then April 6th ran into April 7th. So probably 30, 40 of these games were played today. So he played about over 100, probably like 130 games or something today. Um, gaining lots of points. He had a couple of rough days in a row. But uh, maybe just one rough day in a row. <laughs> I think this day turned around. This day was looking bleak, but then he came back. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it's just a bathroom break. But what was really cool today, just seeing him play all these different people, people you're not going to expect him to see, like um, just, you know, Heisenberg. And 